This is Captain Chris Meyer, Central Florida Site Fishing Charters. Today we're going to go over a few tips about putting your boat back on the trailer. I got my trailer backed in the water. First thing I want you to notice is that the bunks are barely in the water, maybe a, a foot, foot and a half or so of that, of those trailer bunks are in the water. The wheel wells are well out of the water. Number one mistake that especially new boaters make, but some people make it year after year, they sink the boat, they sink the trailer so far in that the boat comes up to the bow eye, but it's still floating. And then when you go to pull out, it's a crapshoot, whether it sits straight or it goes over to the left, goes over to the right, and then it's back and forth and back and forth trying to get it to sit straight. If you leave your bunks mostly out of the water to begin with, your boat will have something to sit on. Now, a bigger boat, you may have to put them in slightly farther, but never do we want to bury that trailer all the way up until you have just the tongue and the bow eye out of the water because the boat is not gonna have anything to rest on as you begin to pull forward. So now we're ready to load our boat on the trailer. Now you could just pull it up with a rope. If you wanna walk in the water, hook it on with your winch strap, winch it all the way up. If you're doing that, you still need most of your bunk out of the water so the trailer has something to be winched up onto. So whether you're driving it on or you're winching it all the way on, you wanna have most of your bunks out of the water. As I said earlier, the bigger the boat, the more you're going to have to sink. And if you have your bunks coated, like I do, with some uh, liquid rollers, it makes them very slick. If you have slicks put on there, it's very slick. You don't need near as much bunk in the water as if you had just plain dry carpet. So that's about as far as my boat is gonna go up without me winching it. Winching it up the rest of the way is fine. The next step, you wanna be sure that you raise up your motor. Nothing worse than hearing your skeg drag up the ramp. Once we have the boat on the trailer, now we can winch it up and you can see I only have to winch it up maybe two and a half feet or so. Always want to be sure we connect our chain so that's on there securely and the next thing we want to do is get off the ramp get out of the way so the next pe person can get their boat in or out we don't want to pull up a little way start unloading all our coolers our life jackets etc you want to uh, load your boat up move around the corner to a staging area then we're going to go over the rest of the tips so now we have our boat out of the water Next thing we want to do is make sure that it's centered on the trailer properly. So the center line of the boat should be in the middle of the two bunks. And this one it is. And, we, and then we need to put our straps on. Now if you have these handy little boat buckles, just like a seat buff, seat belt almost hooks on there. You crank it a couple times, it's tight. We'll put the other side on. And you want to get in the habit have yourself a little checklist so you do the same things every time. The only time I've ever had a mistakes happen at the boat ramp was A was in a huge rush or B someone was talking to me while I was loading up. So that's when uh, you forget to do things. First thing I do, put my buckles on, then I'm going to remove my plug. So I leave my plug out on the way home for any water to drain out, I stick it in my pocket. When I get back home, when I go to hook up the hose to flush my motor out, before I do that, I stick my plug back in. Or when I go in the house, it's still in my pocket. I remember I need to put that thing back in so you don't go on your next trip and forget that it's out. So I always put it back in at the end of this trip. Just passed a fella out here who forgot his, and he put it in the water, had to quick pull it out. We've all done that. Get in the habit, you do the same thing every time so that you don't forget to put your plug back in. Next thing I do is lock my motor down. I'm gonna secure my pole, put my little flag back on here, and I'm all set to go. 
So hopefully this helps you get your boat out of the water quickly and easily. You see how fast that was. Once the trailer was in, drive it right up, hook it and go. It sits on there correctly the first time and you won't have to back and forth and back and forth to try to get your boat to sit correctly on your trailer.